so if you can please give it a big thumbs up and if you're enjoying this please let me know that you're enjoying it please and i guess i'll see you in the next clip bye okay so basically i'm actually watching a funeral service of my of the previous president of thomas s monson and I'm watching it live from Salt Lake City so I just kind of want to give you some taste of for him. Those promises were true in his experience. You remember in Doctrine and Covenants 8488? That was a favorite of his. Whoso receiveth you, there I will be also. For I will go before your face. I will be on your right hand and on your left. And my spirit shall be in your hearts and mine angels round about you to bear you up. Because he knew that promise was a reality, President Monson was optimistic. It also made him courageous. When he had to make difficult and important choices, he expected the Lord would answer his prayer and show him the way to go. When he was called to go into what appeared to be dangerous or perilous situations, others might be afraid, yet he felt no fear. He believed that the Lord went before him and that angels were placed around him to bear him up. That proved true. His daughter Anne, who has spoken so movingly today, stood near him hours before he passed away. I was blessed to be there. As I, as I looked on his face, I thought that the Lord's promise was being fulfilled. He had been surrounded and borne up by human angels, and perhaps more. I felt the assurance that the resurrected Lord, who has gone before him into the spirit world, waited with outstretched arms. I felt a burning testimony, which I now bear to you, that President Monson knew the Lord, that he had been, that he had been cleansed through the atonement, as he gave his all in the service of the Lord and of the Father's children. He had come to know the Lord. He loved the Lord. And he said he knew that the Lord loved him. President Monson lived the life that King Benjamin commended to us. Quote, I say unto you that you should remember to retain the name written always in your hearts that you are not found on the left hand of God but that you hear and know the voice by which ye, sh ye shall be called, and also the name by which he shall call you. For how knoweth a man the master whom he has not served, and who is a stranger, and is far from the thoughts and intents of his heart? Therefore, 
I would that you should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good works, that Christ, the Lord God, omnipotent, may seal you his, that you may be brought to heaven, that you may have everlasting salvation and eternal life. I testify that Jesus is the Christ. I bear solemn witness that through his sinless life and his infinite atonement, all of the children of the Heavenly Father who come into mortality will be resurrected. Through the ministration of angels to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the restoration, the full priesthood keys were restored. Those keys were passed in an unbroken line to President Monson. They included the power to seal families together for all eternity. President Monson knew that and so testified. That priesthood power will continue in the Savior's church on the earth until he comes again. President and Sister Monson were sealed by that power. I pray a blessing on all their posterity that they may have the assurance that the Lord watches over them and that they may anticipate a glorious and eternal family reunion in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. what's up it's saturday everyone so i've kind of had like a lazy day in so ben is i've booked my driving lessons on the 24th of january which is going to be like my third time of doing driving lessons but i can't remember everything what i got taught so i kind of need to restart all over again so it's going to be from 12 till 2 p.m. for two hours and I'm really looking forward to it and everything like that. Like that. So um, I don't know. We'll just see because I really want to pass my test, my driving test. Hopefully end of the year or next year in 2019 so i can then drive i've tried twice so far and i have the problem like when i want something i'll stop doing driving lessons and then a few years later I get swag so i actually gonna really try hard to not want anything or spend any money because I actually really want to do this and then get my own, uh, have my own car and then drive about having that independence on what I would like and then hopefully that will help of me getting a job and everything like that so I will update you later on. Hey everyone, so I'm back from church and I'm gonna get something to eat and then at five past one we are literally going to church so I can do the choir and everything like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. Um I haven't really filmed anything yesterday because 
it was just kind of like a lazy day yesterday and today I was just going to church this morning and everything like that but with all of that I've just kind of made my group um, yeah I kind of was trying to get more members in United S7 and I'm actually really grateful for Ray and Jason of actually helping with this group out um, they're two of the other members as well and I just want to say a big thank you to them um, for helping um, of doing <laughs> what I tell them to do uh, so yeah um, so it's start getting started and yeah it's gonna be for like a couple of days we just need to sort everything out like a new email a website um everything like that kind of thing so it's gonna be awesome i can tell so i'll get back to you of what is gonna happen or after Okay, so basically I've just finished choir and basically I'm a soprano in my voice. So in the videos you might actually see me practicing by myself with like very high but when we are together the voice is just amazing. I'm better go because my mum's calling me okay see you in a minute he is risen he is risen 